A vehicle is a depreciating asset. So the more money you put into it, the more opportunity cost is lost. According to Edmonds, the average finance interest rate on a new vehicle is 7%. Back in 2018, I got a seven-year auto loan at 0% interest. Nowadays, auto loan payments are about the same as what mortgage payments used to be. According to Edmonds, the average cost for a new vehicle is $730. New car prices have skyrocketed. According to Kelly Blue Book, the average cost of a new vehicle is $48,763. Having a vehicle problem is just awful. I used to have a 2008 Malibu LTZ. It only had 113,000 kilometers on it and it needed a new transmission. Even after the transmission was replaced, the vehicle kept breaking down. The vehicle originally cost me $24,000. It then cost me $6,500 to fix the transmission. And then I traded it in for another vehicle and I only got $7,500 for it. So I paid $24,000 for it and I only got back $1,000 after paying to fix it. This was an expensive lesson. I never want to lose this much again, so this is what I do now. I purchased the Hyundai Elantra. I like the Elantra for its fuel efficient and Hyundai has a 5 year 100,000 kilometer warranty. At the time I purchased the vehicle, I also purchased Michelin X Ice 3 snow tires. This way I can drive the vehicle up to 100,000 kilometers or five years so that I always have a warranty. I then just have minimal maintenance such as oil changes and air filters. Before the warranty is up, I trade in the vehicle and do it all over again. The trick is to buy a reasonably cost vehicle so that your money is not tied up in a depreciating asset. I think following the 10% rule is a good idea. The 10% net worth vehicle purchase example shows that if your net worth was $100,000, then you could reasonably afford a $10,000 vehicle. If your net worth was $200,000, then 10% of that would be $20,000, so you could reasonably afford a $20,000 vehicle. And if your net worth was $500,000, then you could reasonably afford a $50,000 vehicle. Now, if your household net worth was $500,000, then you could reasonably afford two $25,000 vehicles. You want the total amount to equal 10% of your net worth. Buying a new vehicle can be so tempting. But make sure that you stick to your budget for having financial freedom is truly priceless. My video that the YouTube algorithm thinks is best for you is up on the screen right now. Save money, make good choices, and please be kind.